do uh, the video on Tommy Robinson and Paul Golding. I know some of you have come to my channel because of, you're also supporters, and some of you come to this channel because you hate them and you just want to vent your rage on somebody. Anyway, it's perfectly well within your freedom to do that. So, all right. So a few weeks ago, when I saw Tommy Robinson promoting VK, the Russian social media Facebook equivalent, I decided to go over there and see what it was, what it was about. Because I, like I said, we don't get much news from Tommy otherwise. So and I'd like to give a shout out right here to the channel. It was Active UK Patriot. Then right now it's made in Grimsby Active UK Patriot because that channel has been doing a lot. They're the ones that gave up the updates on Tommy whenever, you know, there wasn't much going on on YouTube. And also, I believe that the owner of the channel is also involved in, you know, reporting, on the ground reporting. They said they were checking into the illegal smuggling, uh, migrant smuggling racket and things like that. And so I'm giving a shout out to that channel. And he's the first one that told me about VK. Of course, I don't know how to find him on VK now because that link was on a different video. Anyway, so shout out to Made in Grims Grimsby Active Patriot UK because because he does a, a good job. And thankfully, he has not. He's still on YouTube. Any case, I have been enjoying VK. It's a I still find it hard to connect with people, but I'm following Tommy and I got following Paul Golding. And Tommy posts an awful lot. So if you want updates from Tommy, go there. And plenty of fuel for the leftists' grouch, grouchiness. And um, yes, Paul Golding, and I was following him at his trial, and guessing what he was saying that after a year or so, that this could be expunged from his record and about not giving his PIN number, got into charge of terrorism. Now, the thing is, the left is trying to do to Paul Golding and Tommy the same thing they tried to do with Donald Trump in impeachment. They want to keep you distracted and tied up in court, and, and they want to keep you down for, like, the stupidest little things. And, like, they do things on purpose to provoke, to provoke people, you know, they want to provoke Tommy to push somebody, punch somebody, call somebody a name, and then they'll be like, oh, we can get him for slander, we can get him for assault. They know how to push the button, so that's why I said Tommy needs to beware, make sure he doesn't let the left do that, if at all possible. Because, um, they're devilishly clever, the left. But anyway, so... It is pretty awesome that Russia is offering free speech to Europe and America. That is very sad that Europe and America are not offering their own free speech. But hopefully that's about to change with President Trump's executive order. And here's the thing I'm thinking. I think that in the UK right now, you've got Boris Johnson and you've got a conservative government. I think we need to petition, petition them, put some pressure on them to, to make some laws for free speech, you know, because there'll never be a better time. So definitely write some letters to your number 10 Downing Street and petition, say, you know, vote for free speech. We need some kind of a bill or call your member of parliament or whoever they are, because while there's conservatives in the government, this is the time to try to get some kind of free speech laws passed. Like you said, I know for years you probably didn't think you needed them. Because, but America had them, and the UK didn't, but now we're realizing just how much they were needed. It, I mean, it was sort of implied that there's freedom in the UK, but in reality, there isn't. There isn't. So that is something that ought to be corrected. And like I said, there's no better time than now when you have Boris Johnson and conservative government get that petition in. So, and... Um, I said, in the story of, of Russia, you know, they have come back from a very, very dark place of communism, socialism, very dark, dark place. Like I said, it's hard to believe that only less than a century ago, they were, you know, living in extreme poverty and their country was in a shambles. And, but now, I said, they're offering more free speech than America and Europe, which... We're thankful for the free speech, but it just shows 
It just shows that countries can come back from very dark and oppressive places because, and come back into the light. And also, Russia being more Christian, I'm sure, has something to do with that, too. So Christianity has a big thing to do with countries and the level of freedom in them. Okay. And someone in the comments was saying, why are Americans defending Europe? Well, here to put it to you this way. The free speech issue alone. Right now, people in Europe and UK are being arrested and harassed by the law enforcement for things they say or their political beliefs or religious beliefs if they don't line up with the left-wing system. They are being persecuted, no less. And here in America, I mean, yeah, we got persecutions too, but we're, we are more feisty and we still have a constitution, <laughs> even though it's tread on so much. But so we have extra free speech lying around doing nothing and we need to use it to speak up about the problems in Europe or the problems other places in the world. Because after all, UK police is not going to come over here and handcuff me. I mean, they could try it, but why bother? <laughs> and I said, we need to exert pressure on these governments who are being unfair to their people. And that is how Americans can help defend Europe or defend other countries. I mean, every little bit of pressure helps. And I don't think it doesn't. So it's part of, part of our duty to help keep, you know, fight for freedom around the world, and the internet gives us that opportunity. So we must embrace the opportunity to fight for freedom in whatever ways we can. So, all right, folks. So I'll just give another shout out, I said, to VK, to Maiden Grimsby, active UK patriot, Tommy Robinson, Paul Golding, and we really admire the courageous work they're doing, and like I said, we need to put pressure on the authorities to get them to shape up and start treating the people right and get a, get some free speech laws in the UK. It can happen. Like I said, if countries can come back from as rough a place that Russia was in to offering a lot of free speech to the rest of the world, you know there's hope. There is hope. God is in control. All right. There's power in prayer. Let freedom ring.